Guys, before I start the video, I'm going to show you my gaming setup. This is, well, a requested video. Um, so here it is. Chucky B. So I've got the Logitech G920 steering wheel, which is for the Xbox One and PC. I've also got the hand shifter. My wheel setup is hooked up to a GT Amiga Apex wheel stand. This wheel stand is awesome. If you see my old videos, I used to have this steering wheel on the table and the whole table would shake, even the TV. This stand is solid. It also folds up if you want to put it to the side. I just leave mine how it is. Mine doesn't come in the way. Um, you can adjust the height of the uh, wheel stand. Also the pedals, you can have them flat or tilted. When you get the wheel stand, it comes with different attachments like bolts, etc. And they provide you with these straps. This will keep your wires nice and tidy. With the GT Amiga Apex wheel stand, um, you get a gear shifter attachment. With a gear shifter attachment, you can have it on the left hand side or right hand side. But I use it to put my phone there or a drink, which comes in handy, especially when live streaming. So now we come to the monitor. The one that I'm using is the BenQ EX3203R. I've been using it since Forza Horizon 4 came out and it's quality. Before I was using a TV, as you may have seen in my old videos, but going to this is so much better. It gives us such a high quality image. So the key features that I've picked up since using this monitor, um, firstly, it's curved. It has two HDMI ports. It's USB type C compatible. It has 144 Hertz refresh rate, supports HDR content such as Forza Horizon 4. It also has this feature which I think is awesome, HDR and BI. BI stands for brightness intelligence, which is a technology that takes care of your eyes by adjusting the brightness and color temperature. The details in the image are sharpened and enhanced while the screen will deliver the most appropriate brightness and color temperature to match the image performance and maintain total comfort for viewing. So when I'm live streaming for like three hours, this setting will not strain my eyes. It also comes with a wall mount too, which is what I'm planning on doing this weekend. So that is my current setup. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will leave links in the description box. So let's continue with the video of me driving the BMW M2.